uh, honestly, I never thought wearing the silver fern would happen, especially at my ripe age. To be a high performance athlete <laughs> with grey hairs, I think it's pretty cool, really. I've been playing bowls 40 years. It gets you. It might look a pretty simple game watching from the sideline, but there's just so much to it. Getting the right weight, getting the right bias, the right line, the right green. It's a mixture of mental and physical. It's very competitive. I don't want to lose. I mean, I'd be really annoyed if I end up there and don't play well. <laughs> This is actually my fifth Commonwealth game. But the first four was as a reporter, journalist. First one was Commonwealth Games in Christchurch, 74, Edmonton in 78, Brisbane 82, and Auckland 1990. It was at 82 in Brisbane where I was uh, covering the bowls. And for some reason, because I had nothing to do with bowls before then, I came back from the Commonwealth Games, threw away the golf, and joined the local bowling club. And, 40 years later, I'm going to the Commonwealth Games as a player instead of a reporter. It was just natural, you know, I thought I could beat everyone straight away. It was probably a bit too big-headed, and I'm sure the game has sorted me out a wee bit. It's almost like the game was made for me or was ready for me. The reason I am there as a player is because I had polio as a young chap, in fact, as a baby. So one leg was longer than the other. I wore built-up shoes when I was a youngster. I had a big operation when I was 15 and had my good leg shortened by one half inches. So I qualified for the para bowls. I always just regard myself as an able-bodied player with no disability. <laughs> I was in the school first 11 cricket. I played tennis for the school team. And in the winter, I played rugby and soccer. Took up squash, played badminton. Sport's taken up a very good part of my life, I must say. The faster it is, the better it'll suit me. The only reason I play bowls is, is a competition. For me, you know, we're going there to win the gold medal. We are genuine contenders. There's no, there's no doubt about that. My partner, Mark Noble, has been the last two previous games and won silvers, losing both games in the final on the last end. So he doesn't want to do that again. He's played most of his bowls with Barry Winks. You know, he suddenly died a year or so ago. The excitement will come after the winning and saying, yep, you know, we've done it. Oh, I might even be able to write my own story then. You never know. <laughs> I'll be taking my son, but it won't be, it won't be in person. Took his life, the rascal. He was a very good sportsman. He was a very good baseballer. He could have, uh, could have gone to the US on a baseball scholarship. Probably had more sporting talent than me in the end. And he just started playing bowls too. So we were going to uh, link up and play bowls. And, uh, I'll be playing for him, yeah. <laughs>